Surah An-Nasr is the 110th chapter of the Quran. It is a short surah consisting of just three verses, and it addresses the concept of divine victory and the importance of gratitude and worship. Here is a brief tafsir, interpretation, of Surah An-Nasr. 1. The Announcement of Victory Surah An-Nasr begins by announcing a clear and imminent victory. It implies a time when Allah's help and support will manifest in the form of a decisive triumph. 2. The Call to Gratitude and Worship The Surah emphasizes the importance of showing gratitude to Allah for the victory granted to His Messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers. It also calls for the worship of Allah and prostration in gratitude for his blessings. 3. The Message of Tawhid Monotheism Surah and Nasr carries a message of monotheism, Tawhid, by directing the believers to worship and prostrate only to Allah, recognizing him as the one who grants victory and success. 4. The Historical Context this surah is believed to have been revealed after the conquest of Mecca when the city embraced Islam and the pagan practices were abolished. It signifies a time of great victory and the spread of Islam in the Arabian Peninsula. 5. The Message of Humility Surah an nasr serves as a reminder of the importance of humility and submission to Allah in times of victory. It teaches that even during moments of triumph, Believers should remain humble and continue to worship Allah. 6. The Eternal Message While this surah reflects a specific historical event, it also carries an eternal message about the importance of gratitude, worship, and monotheism. Believers are reminded that all victories come from Allah, and it is their duty to show gratitude and remain steadfast in their faith. In summary, Surah An-Nasr is a short yet significant chapter that announces divine victory, emphasizes gratitude and worship, and underscores the message of monotheism. It serves as a reminder of the importance of remaining humble and steadfast in faith, even during times of triumph. This surah also holds historical significance in the context of the spread of Islam in Mecca.